It was a groundbreaking plan for Tennessee, offering vouchers to as many as 5,000 low-income students in poor-performing schools. But according to the Senate sponsor of the plan, politics got in the way. And if they won't run their own bill, then they shouldn't try to hijack the administrations. Senator Norris says the governor was concerned his plan would be amended to include more students from families with higher incomes. Instead of entertaining amendments, Norris says the bill will not be advanced. He wanted a more uh, measured approach to introducing vouchers to the state of Tennessee and did not want it to become a political football at the expense of the children that his initiative is designed to serve. Other proposals are moving forward including establishing a new state panel to approve charter schools in some of Tennessee's largest counties. The bill, which would apply to cities like Memphis and Nashville, passed despite concerns from Democrats. Most legislators wisely don't want an unelected group of people to be able to come into their county, try to run their schools, and raise people's taxes. School security is also on the agenda. A plan allowing teachers with law enforcement experience and retired law officers to provide security in schools is receiving support. The plan would authorize qualified personnel who receive additional training to carry a weapon in schools. Those teachers in, in Connecticut lay down their lives for these children. We don't want teachers in Tennessee to have to do that. And that's what we're trying to prevent. We're trying to prevent something like Connecticut happening.